So I've been reading online a bit in my spare time about different home remedies to clean a dirty carburetor. So I've been given a few of a shot, as you know. So uh, I've seen a bit about pine saw being used in carb cleaning. I figured I'd give it a shot since I don't really have a respectable parts cleaner up here currently where I live. And uh, so you don't watch a 10 minute video here for no reason. Uh, like uh, the method that goes over boiling a carburetor in lemon juice, I have to say that uh, this pine saw method works very well. So um, just to give you an example, as you see here, this was uh, very much so like this piece. And this is after we boiled it in lemon juice. So even some of the preliminary dirt has already been removed. But this is a 4100 carburetor off a of 66 Galaxy. So it's sat for a long time and the dirt is, um, you know, it's really stuck on there good. So I soaked this piece for, um, it was actually hooked to the carb body that's still in there. I soaked it for only four or five hours then very lightly um, brushed it with a little toothbrush only for about a minute and it cleaned up real well. Um, the dirt, if there's any even left on the piece, it's very pliable. You can basically rub it off with your fingers. So um, to this point, that's been relatively impressive. Now, the way I understand this pine saw is that it's, uh, it's a bit more powerful than, you know, the lemon juice. So, you know, you want to make sure that you get all the plastic and definitely any rubber pieces off your carburetor because I have a strong feeling that it would uh, destroy them. Now, you should already have these pieces off because if you're going to go ahead and clean your carburetor, the proper way to always clean a carburetor is to fully break it down, fully disassemble it. As you see here, it's just the carb body floating in there. So, you know, if you want to get the best cleaning results, that's always what you want to do. But uh, with the pine saw itself, I just cut it 50-50 with, uh, obviously with water, just regular tap water. And uh, it's just your standard um, pine saw. I guess it's, you want to make sure you use the original uh, formula pine saw, the name brand pine saw. Uh, you know, I can't attest to it, but I've read that it leaves a lot of residues if you use the store brands and some of them are um, California conforming and they're not as powerful. So you want to make sure that you use that name brand and then you cut it 50-50 because it is pretty potent and you don't want to destroy anything on your carburetor. Um, some other things is uh, some of the plating some carburetors have some plating and stuff like that. You want to make sure that you don't use this if your carburetor has any plating at all. I've read enough to know that it'll uh, burn some of that plating off. And I actually tried a little piece of plated metal, put it in there, and it uh, a little piece of chromed metal, and it started to uh, dissipate that chromed piece. So, um, real important there. But anyway, you know, overall it pretty good it doesn't smell as bad as the lemon juice the lemon juice just reek this leaves your house with a nice pine smell and you really don't smell it at all unless you're this close so I've been impressed with that and you can put a lid on it but um yeah overall it works real well so we'll give it a little bit of time here and then we'll pull it out and see what it looks like when we pull it out and then uh, we'll scrub it up and see how she cleans up Okay, so here we are. The carburetor's only been in here for maybe 12-15 uh, hours and most people who soak uh, carburetors in pine saw solutions, they kind of say that you should soak it for two, three days, but uh, I'm kind of impatient. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and just see over a short span of time what it could do with this really dirty carburetor. Because um, I'm assuming a lot of it can be cleaned off with a brush and saved a lot, save a lot of time. Get over here to the sink. And again, even though the smell of this isn't like the uh, <laughs> lemon juice boiling, um, it'll still end in divorce if you're doing this in your kitchen. So again, <laughs> try not to do that. But uh, anyway, so carburetor actually is cleaning up very well. Um, all this was just caked with crap. So that's pretty impressive. Thank you. 
and uh, it appears that if I just rub it with my finger, it's coming right off. So I think we could greatly accelerate this process by uh, if I go around and scrub our carburetor here with a brush and just uh, very lightly just with a toothbrush. Look at all that. It just has taken that uh, carbon from the Venturi's right off. That's impressive. So and that's only after 15 hours with a 50-50 solution. So anyway, we're going to get brushing on it and see how much better we can make it look. So I'm not going to put a lot of effort into brushing it. We're only going to take a few minutes and just give it a quick once over. Okay, so after 15 hours or so of soaking and like I said, some very light brushing, we can see that the carburetors come very, very clean. So I'm going to go ahead and it's still got a little bit of dirt on it. So I'm going to go ahead and soak it for maybe, you know, another half a day. As you can see here around this linkage, it's a little more dirty. Um, it's a little bit thicker grease buildup. But anyway, overall, over a short period of time, it's cleaned up quite a bit So from what it was before. All right, so here's what we have after soaking the carb body for 24, 25 hours. It came out real good. Now, keep in mind, um, I did scrub this with a toothbrush, but uh, the dirt was real pliable. It just fell right off. You could rub it off with your finger, and this carb body just cleaned up amazingly well. I would have never... I've expected that out of uh, the pine saw solution. Just as a reference, this is the uh, um, the top of the carburetor, obviously, and this is after I did the lemon juice soak, which is another home remedy to cleaning carburetors. And uh, you know, we can still see a ton of crud, and this was all over this carburetor. Um, so very impressive. Obviously, the pine saw solution works very well. Um, I want to reinforce the idea that you should really break down your carburetor um, when you're doing this cleaning process. It really helps to clean everything out well. And you still want to go through and spray out all your orifices with carb cleaner. You know, get behind it with some pressure. Um, you know, you can get, just get some generic carb cleaner from Walmart. It would be just fine. Uh, but, yeah, overall works very well when you... Take your carburetor out of the pine saw solution. You want to make sure to wash it down with warm water until it's, uh, um, you know, has all the pine saw solution off of it, and then spray any pieces that can rust down with WD-40 or a similar lubricant, and you should be good to go and you're ready for assembly. So that pretty much concludes this video. I'm going to go ahead and put the top of this carburetor in our dip solution and we'll be ready to rebuild this 4100.